What's going on? It's your boy Engineer Mojo. I'm out here working on my sister's busted roller again. To get right to it and complete this brake change, tools needed are socket wrench, 14 millimeter socket, deep or standard size, doesn't matter, big old C clamp, or a brake caliper tool that you can get for free from AutoZone, Advanced Auto Parts, or what have you. But this is to depress the piston cylinder in your brakes. This is a cheap hack, or you can get a free hack from the store, but you gotta drive it. A rubber mallet, or a small hammer. And as always, please use jack stands and jack, and anything you need to take off your lug nuts to your tire. Those are all the tools you need. Now let's get this show on the road and show you how to get these brakes changed. Wow. Step one you want to do is locate your brake master cylinder, which is located on the brake booster right in front of the steering wheel and right behind your air intake. You want to locate the top and just slightly lift it up so that air can travel through. You don't want to take it off. You don't want any farm materials falling within your master cylinder. Just lift it up so the air can fall through. And that way, when you're pushing back the pistons, you do not blow a seal in the master cylinder. It's a pain to change that out. Important step. You see, I've already jacked up the car. Already taken off the wheel. Straight organized, have jack stands in place. Jacked up the car just for reference for you all. On the middle tow hook, there's a tow hook right there in the middle of your car. So you can jack up the front and jack up both sides at the same time. In case anybody is wondering, use my trusty Milwaukee M18 fuel to pop off those lug nuts. The best cordless impact I've used for the price. If you don't have it and you work on your car regularly, pick this up. It's a pretty great tool. All right, done with that. I have some Doorlass golds here. Before I take off any components of the brakes, uh, usually I'll go ahead and I'll go ahead and apply disc brake quiet or you can get any kind of disc brake goop that they sell at the auto parts store and just apply it to the back of the metal paneling on your brake pads you can get dirt brake pad dust back behind the piston and this metal piece right here and it'll cause squeals so I'll go ahead and apply this uh, so that way it's setting while I'm taking off the brake components thing you want to do now that you've taken off the wheel is since you're in here you want to do a quick inspection of your suspension components and your brake components next thing you want to do is take your 14 millimeter bolt and as you see I've already loosened it up and you have a bolt here on the top of your caliper housing and you have a bolt down here so two bolts you have to remove two 14 millimeter bolts you want to loosen and remove and that way you can be able to pull back the caliper and piston assembly from the brake pads. I remove the caliper and piston assembly. Usually just rest it right on top here. This is so that you don't put any tension on the hose. Just rest it right up here. And it should stay there pretty, pretty well. And here are the busted pads. As you can see, these things have no meat left. It was breaking on pure hope. Let's go replace these things. Take off the existing brake pads. It's pretty simple. As you see, there's retaining clips on the top and bottom, front and back. These hold your brake pads inside the assembly here. All you have to do is just pull them on out from there. And they easily remove. What in the world? What's she doing? All right, before you install your new brakes, you want to do a quick inspection of your rotors as well to see if they need to be replaced. Typically, when I inspect the brake pads, if they wore evenly, then I'm pretty confident in the shape of my rotors and I do not replace them. But if they wore unevenly, as if there was wavy action in the, in the brake pad, uh, or as in this case, <laughs> they rubbed it so far down that it was scraping on metal then I will go ahead and replace the rotor in this case I did replace it I had a used rotor that was in good shape that I used on this one so I just swapped that on there 
and to replace the rotor that goes into a little more detail that is not in this tutorial because you have to take off this whole bracket assembly but it's only two more additional bolts back there but that's pretty simple but I did not go into it in this tutorial but I did replace the rotor on this side and on the other side I did not after replacing the rotor let's wipe it down make sure that you remove any kind of oils and grease that way it doesn't influence the wear of your new brake pads the replacement brakes that I bought did come with new hardware and that's a good thing uh, if it doesn't it's not a big deal if yours are intact but basically to replace those you just pull out the old uh, note the orientation that it was installed and just just pushing the new and I'll be doing that to this one right here that one down there and also the ones on the back side as well install the new brake pads is the same as removal uh, you just want to locate the retaining clips so I'm going to reuse the retaining clips pop it in there new pads installed next step you want to do is to push back the piston because it's already pushed forward given that you're using those old pads and this is where I use a big C-clamp 4 inch C-clamp uh, you may need a bigger one if your pads are not as bad as mine but any kind of piece of, of metal or flat piece of wood or whatever that you can shimmy in there between the piston and the end of the C-clamp put it in there and it up put it on the back of the piston and just twist tight and as you're twisting to close the gap the piston will travel inward and this is why it's important in the first step to open up your brake cylinder cap that way air can escape and you don't pop those seals so if you didn't do it do it now piston has been pushed back all the way so that it can now fit over the new pads install of this piston is the same as removal you just want to take it maneuver it back over the pads slide it on and reinstall the 14 millimeter bolts if these retaining bolts are t are positioned too far out that you can't fit back on your cylinder pistons just give them a little light tap with a, a hammer or rubber mallet and they'll push back inside this housing right here so that you can actually fit your piston over all right, this side is complete. New hardware, new brakes installed. 14 millimeter bolt retightened. There is a torque specification for those. I do not know it off the top of my head, but it is fairly low, as in snug tight is fine. So if you tighten those snug tight, they will be fine. Don't forget to put tight back on the cap. Pop that back on. Hopefully this video provided some good information for you. Uh, if you have any tips, please put them down below, either for myself or any other viewers. Uh, if you have any comments, please put them down below. Uh, if you like the video, please like, please share. As always, I'm just trying to pay forward what I've gotten back from YouTube. So I like to create these videos just to kind of put back into the pot what I've already taken out. All right, any questions, hit me up. Glad you watch. Mojo out.